Once the services have been configured, the next step is to begin the test. In this example, there are three services configured and named. Service 1 is voice over IP G.711. Service 2 is data. And service 3 is HDTV MPEG 4 video. In this example traffic policing is not enabled on these services because we are not testing through any equipment which can rate limit. Instead, we are testing to a hard loop. Now that the services have been set up and configurations verified, zoom out of the services and click the zoom in on EtherSAM. You do not need to discover remote if you are testing to a loop. However, always verify that in the bottom left of the screen there is a green arrow pointing up, indicating the link is up or active and that you are testing the desired interface. In this case, the port A1, 100 gig E. The receive power is also displayed. Notice that the ramp test is selected but not the burst test. The burst test is usually not required but is available if needed. The service performance test is enabled and the subtest duration is set to 3 days and 1 minute. The global test duration automatically adjusts to show an estimation of the total test time. Also selected is pass-fail verdict. If you click restore EtherSAM defaults, the configured services will be erased. Now you can select start. The test will begin with the service configuration test. When that test is completed, the service performance test begins and will run for the three days it was set up for. For long tests, be sure to have the test platform charger plugged in. Many high bandwidth tests require extensive test times. As the test is running, you can view the tabs to observe the progress. Once the test is complete you can generate a report, add comments, and print in the PDF or Excel format. All Ethernet tests have the same or very similar setups. All the way up to the currently available 400 gig E.